Hi guys, it's Vicki. I'm just doing a real quick video because I just got my first share from our the Community Shared Agriculture pro Program that I bought into this year. It's really cool and I don't know where you all live and whether or not you might have such a thing, but for me, I grew, uh, I'm in an agriculture er agricultural area where they grow a lot of food, um, but I live in the town near, you know, that's sort of around all of this agricultural land, so I don't have a lot of uh, experience in my own life, and uh, we don't have vegetable beds around here or anything, so although I've got a few plants in, I join this program and I get a weekly box of all local organic food which is just unbelievable to me because I can rarely get organic. When I do, I generally have to drive for it. Um, and if I do, it's just the basics like apples and sometimes some celery and stuff like that. So when I heard that there was this program in the area, I was just so thrilled and like obviously joined up. And this is the first week of our boxes. They're going to go right through the summer. So I just wanted to show you what comes in the very first, earliest, box. I'm not totally sure myself, so it's going to be exciting to see. So, um, here's my box full of produce, and if we get into it, hmm, I don't know if the, if the camera, I can't zoom in or out or anything, I don't know what's going on with that, but uh, what I got on top, well I actually chose this because I had a bit of choice, this is um, an herbal tea called lemon mist from Sweet Dove's Sweet Dove Herbs, which is a local herb farm, uh, not very far from where we are. So I'm really looking forward to that. And okay, this was a choice for me, a choice item. We get our box in the basic box, and then there are choice aspects. So uh, this is baby greens and pea shoots, which is going to be just delicious. And then this, I actually asked for extra of this. Um, this is called um, Lovage, L-O-V-A-G-E. Uh, yeah, Lovage. And I got two bunches because um, this is a bitter green, and I've never tried it before until I got to the farm. Um, but it's like celery, and the leaves to me do look like celery leaves, so it tastes like that. So that's going to be delicious. Uh, this is some chard, obviously. It looks like our dandelion greens. Um, oh, I got a couple of bunches of beautiful uh, Ontario asparagus, and to be honest with you, I just eat that just like that. Oh my goodness, I'm salivating. You can tell you've become a raw foodist when <laughs> just looking at the food makes you salivate. Looking at green produce makes you salivate. Okay, so this is a beautiful head of lettuce. Look at this. Look at this. This is a beautiful butter lettuce, like a soft, uh, really smooth and uh, beautiful lettuce. And obviously it's organic, so I'm so happy to see that it's imperfect because that tells me that it is, in fact, organic. Um, and I can't wait to get into that again. I am salivating. Okay, oh, and look at this. I have been so hoping and waiting for this. This is fresh rhubarb. And uh, to all of you who have already had your rhubarb season, we are late because we're in the northern climates up here. And just look at how delicious that is. Oh, I have to eat some. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, and oh, look at this beautiful spinach. Mm. Do you know how good that's going to be? This is going to be like unlike all the silly little tubs, plastic tubs of organic baby spinach that I have been buying all winter so that I can have leafy greens, organic leafy greens. This is the real thing. Oh, I'm just so thrilled. <laughs> That's a huge bunch too. Love it. And some leaf lettuce. It's really neat because actually yesterday I was um, I cut I took some leaves from my lettuce in the in my from my own pot, and I got some more asparagus because I just love it. I want to take a bite of that too, but I'll wait. Oh, look at these beautiful spring onions. Look at that. Oh my god, they're just so fat. Look at that. This is real food, guys. Oh, so that I think I'm going to make like a pesto sauce 
with. I think I'm going to make a pesto sauce with those. And look at these beautiful beets. Oh, look at them. These are the first beets of the year. Oh my goodness, and the leaves alone are making me salivate. Those are going to go right into tomorrow's juice. And then in the bottom of my box, there are some tiny little potatoes, which are for the people around here who eat cooked food. is going to be just fabulous. So that's my first box. Again, I'll put the, put the potatoes like this. And you can see I've got, again, oh, I'm so excited, you have no idea. I've got my spring onions and my beets and my fingering potatoes and my spinach, a little bit of leaf lettuce. I've got a, lots of rhubarb there. I've got two packages of lovage. And I've got uh, some salad greens with some pea shoots, which I can't wait to get into, and some two bunches of asparagus, and some herbal tea, and this beautiful head of soft buttery lettuce. And it's all local and all organic. And I'm going to step away. Look at how much there is. I just I can't believe it. I know for you guys who maybe live in farmlands or something, you got to remember this is Canada. I have been cooped up inside like the ground, frozen all winter. So here we are. Good food starting. Mm. I can't wait. Again, I have to swallow all the saliva just by looking at this stuff. I'm just so thrilled. Um, so it'll be really exciting to share with you as the summer progresses how uh, the amount of produce and the variety changes. So um, this is it. This is community shared agriculture and I am a part of the co-op ensuring that our local farmers have a market for their organic produce. My pleasure and my absolute dining pleasure. So I will leave you guys uh, with that. I hope that you're all having a really great day. If you have a chance, support your local farmer. If we didn't have local farmers, we wouldn't have food. Um, so support your local farmer um, and have a great day, everyone. Bye.